The Spanish Club met yesterday to elect a secretary and plan activities for Dia de los Muertos and Hispanic Heritage Month. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Lucy Williamson. And I'm Alex Benson, and we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. The first senior retreat will be held today through Friday. For those seniors attending the retreat, we hope you have a great experience. For everyone else, please pray that these seniors will go closer to each other and to God. Casino will hold e-learning days on Monday and Tuesday next week, as teachers will be attending the Indiana Non-Public Ed Educators Conference. Students, be sure to check Canvas for e-learning work to complete those two days. Also remember that next Friday is the end of quarter one. Please check your grades for any missing assignments and contact your teachers with any questions. Now on to Marcus for today's Crusader Clubs. Thanks, Lucy. Members of the Spanish Club met yesterday. Club members are elected as secretary and they talked about how often they plan to meet. They also discuss activities for Dia de los Muertos and Hispanic Heritage Month. The book club will meet after school in room 219. Club members will discuss books, of course, but they also talk about the readathon and decide what to do with the club's money. Anyone is welcome to attend. Contact Mrs. Wetzel with any questions. The Key Club will hold its first meeting Friday at 7.45 a.m. in room 205. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Schroeder. That's it for today's clubs. Back to Lucy and Alex for more news. Thanks, Marcus. Students, don't forget, you can submit your photo for Louis Tuck Shop Modeling Contest through October 10th. 20 students will be featured in modeling materials in their stores and online, and the top two models will, will receive scholarships. Use the link in our video description to submit your photo, and good luck. The Grade and Cleanup will be in Christian Park next month, and you could be a part of it. Volunteers will meet at the Christian Park Family Community Center on October 9th from 8 to 11 a.m. The goal is to make a difference by picking up litter throughout the Christian Park community. Please consider joining this worthy cause. Our Lady of Lords Parish is looking for volunteers to work their festival from tomorrow through Saturday. Students who need service hours can click on the link in our video description to sign up as volunteers. Now over to Emily for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Alex. Last night, the boys' tennis team lost a close match at Waldron. Number two singles and number two doubles won their matches. The JV football team lost a close one to Triton Central. The volleyball team lost at Hamilton Heights in three games. The team is now 14-10 overall, but still undefeated in conference. Tonight, the girls soccer team will host Monrovia at 5 p.m. It's their senior night, so come out and support your senior soccer players. The volleyball team will host Triton Central with JV playing at 5 and Varsity at 6.30. The Lady Crusaders hope to keep their undefeated record in conference. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, any male interested in wrestling this winter should attend one of two call-out meetings. The first will be held today, and the second will be held Friday. Both meetings will take place at 3.30 in the cafeteria. If you cannot make either meeting, please stop by the, by the athletic office. That's it for today's sports. Back for Lucy and Alex for more news. Thanks, Emily. We're continuing to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, and to go along with that, Every day we're bringing you a fact or highlighting important contributions made by individuals of Hispanic origin. Sonia Sotomayor became the first Hispanic American to serve as a member of the Supreme Court after Barack Obama chose her as his first nominee for the court in 2009. Sotomayor was born in 1954 in the Bronx in New York City, where she grew up in a mostly Catholic and Puerto Rican community. She quickly made education a priority after her mother's insistence after her dad died when she was nine years old. The future judge went on to graduate valedictorian from high school. She earned a full scholarship to Princeton University and graduated in, in 1976. She went to Yale Law School and graduated in 1979, earning her acceptance to the New York Bar the next year. She worked four years as an assistant district attorney in New York before stepping away to work in private practice. Before serving on the Supreme Court, she also served in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York and later the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. Let's check out our lunch menu for the next couple of days. Tomorrow we'll have Oriental Chicken with Rice and Broccoli. On the menu for Thursday is Sloppy Joe's with Green Beans. Please note that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Now to Hannah for a look at our weather forecast.
Thanks, Alex. The warmth and sunshine continue, Crusaders. It feels like summer still with a high of 85 and a total sunshine. Tonight, it'll drop to a mild 60 degrees. Temps will gradually drop as we move through the week, but we are still looking in the highs of 80s and upper 70s with lows in the 50s. There are plenty of sunshine still on the way. Now back to Lucy and Alex for more news. Thanks, Hannah. Now let's look who's celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, what a happy day. Happy birthday. That's it for today's news. Stay classy. And give that little extra.